Hey people, uh, as for today, let's be creating a DB instance using RDS service and then connecting to it. It's actually super simple, so let's get started. Let's define our resources section and give our first and only resource a name and it will be my DB video instance. Okay, its type is gonna be AWS. RDS DB instance. Okay, as for its properties, there are actually very, very many. So I'm going to be using those I used to use. For the first one, let's say it's gonna be the DB name. As for its value, let's be using a parameter and be referring to it. So let's call our parameter um, DB name P. And consequently, uh, we have to create our uh, parameter section. Uh, I'm going to copy this, paste it here, give it uh, a type, it's gonna be a string. After the DB name, there is the master username property, so let's define it. Master username, as for its value. Here also, I do prefer to be using a parameter, so let's define one ref uh, m user and consequently define another parameter so it's gonna be like this it's time it's going to be a string also okay <clears throat> for the third one it has logically to be the master user password and logically also here let's use a parameter so it's gonna be um unpass. okay and create consequently another um, parameter so it's gonna be um, my pass with the type as string for our fourth property let's say the engine and let's choose MySQL. After which, let's determine the DB instance class. And it's going to be db.t2 micro. <coughs> let's also define our storage type and let's say db2. Okay, now let's make our instance publicly accessible with publicly accessible property. So, public, publicly accessible to you. Okay. Let's also allocate to it some gigabytes. So, it's gonna be by means of allocated storage. <laughs> and it's gonna be, let's say, 20. Okay, uh, for our next property, let's specify our uh, DB instance identifier. So, it's gonna be like this. And here, uh, I suggest to be using the join function. And let's do this. <coughs> A hash. And let's call it my uh, DB instance. And be referring to our AWS region. <coughs> we can also specify our AZ. So let's do this. <coughs> Uh, here, um, let's say that we are going to get them all and select the second one, okay? Uh, as for example, so it's going to be uh, with select function, um, one as a second one, and let's be using the get ages and do this for all, for all of them. Um, Okay, I think we've done with this resource. Mm, I'm actually thinking about the unpass parameter. I think we can add to a uh, description. So let's do that. And it's gonna be, um, it shouldn't be less than <coughs> eight characters. <coughs> Okay, let's review the code. DB name. Oh, oh, okay. I'm um, saving fire. I added an extra S. Sorry. 
So for now, I'm heading to uh, CloudFormation. Create new stack, upload our template. Next, let's give our stack a name. Let's say my RDS uh, stack. As for our DB name, let's say it's gonna be my video DB. As for our password, let's say my PSS. Uh, w uh, zero R D D. Okay, for our user, let's call it my video user. Next, next, create stack. We we'll actually have to wait a little bit and keep refreshing. Okay, uh, as you can see, our stack is uh, successfully completed. So let's check out uh, our resource. Okay, good. Mm. <sighs> okay, now I think we can connect to it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to also be using this uh, SQL, my SQL client. So this the user it will be my video user as for the password i have to type this so m y i think it's p s s w zero r d um d okay uh for the db it's actually my video db okay Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, let's initiate a query. So let's say create a table, my video table, and I make it followed by username um, 20. Okay. Um, Let's display our tables. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you took benefit from this video.